Today's the day, News 13's first ever Live Well Expo, and it drew a huge crowd. The goal was to bring people in this community all the information they need about health and healthy living. The best part, it was all free, and so many of you responded. Today's turnout far exceeded expectations. The Live Well Expo just wrapped up about an hour ago. People jammed the Ag Center throughout the day. News 13's Darcel Grimes is live in Fletcher tonight where folks are packed up, they're headed home. Darcel, what an incredible showing from the community. Yes, it was, Frank. We were expecting maybe roughly 5,000 people for this, this event. Well, we got more than 9,000. This place was packed. We almost doubled our expectations. And the people who came here today came from all over Western North Carolina and for many different reasons. This, of course, was a station-sponsored event that was months in the making. And as News 13's Ashley Searles shows us, this expo had something for everyone. It was a rainy day outside the WNC Ag Center. And that may have helped make inside what it was. We thought the turnout would be really good just because of our visibility in Western North Carolina. But this is maybe even a little over the top of what I expected. Thousands of people and more than 120 different booths at the Livewell Expo. Mountain residents were trying things out and stopping by just to get checked out. Because if you don't have insurance, it's the only way you get to know what's wrong with you. Free screenings for things like diabetes, heart problems, dental issues. A huge draw at this expo is the fact that there are more than a dozen free health screenings. Now, I've never been to an allergist, but I always get allergies in the spring. And now in just 15 minutes, I'll finally know what I'm allergic to. And if you didn't get pricked for an allergy screening, there were two blood mobiles outside. We have had uh, at least 25 people walk up within an hour to sign up to donate blood. The Red Cross says that kind of turnout in Buncombe County has never happened before. Not really. This is the first. Smile! Smile! Don't look scared, Cheryl! <laughs> Back inside, the News 13 team was on hand all day mugging for photos. Some turned out, some might not go on the mantle. My daughter has an issue with gluten. Cooking demos had local chefs sharing recipes from home and health food and do's and don'ts. At the restaurant, I've got lots of butter. I mean, how many cases of cream do we go through a week? At least don't, six don't cases of that. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> And meanwhile, my allergy test results. Oh, you are sick, man. You better go to the hospital. Based on how big your reactions are. Tree pollen and grass. Pretty significant itchy eyes, runny nose, sneezing this times of year. At least it's not chocolate. At the Live Well Expo, Ashley Searles, News 13. At least it's not chocolate. And this Live Well Expo was such a success that there are already plans for another one next year. So if you didn't make it this time, Make sure you join us for the Live Well Expo in 2015.